you guys will be able to resume in just a second. It is pretty hot, isn't it? No. Um, so what I want to do is show you how to use by elimination when we don't have when we don't have the variables that are the same. So if we look at, or I'm sorry, the coefficients are not the same. Well, for x's, our variables are not the same, so we can't use eliminate the x. For our y's, our variables are not the same, okay? So we can't use um, elimination for the y. But what we can look at is, um, when you guys are doing this, Remember last time we did elimination, when we didn't have the same variable, what we did was we found the least common multiple between the two. So what I'm going to have to do is, usually it's pretty easy to find, I need to find the least common multiple for 5 and 3. Well, the least common multiple for 5 and 3 is going to be 15. So what I need to do is, uh, 15 is my least common multiple. So what I need to do is, I can get, I need to get my either my 5 to 15 or my 3 to my 15 for the x's or for the y's. For this problem, I'm going to say I'm going to get the I'm going to get my x's to be the same number. So what I'll do is I will multiply my, um, I'll multiply my top equation by 3 and I'll multiply my bottom equation by 5. So when I do that, 3 times 5 gives me 15x, 3 times 3y gives me 9y. 3 times negative 10 gives me a negative 30. 5 times 3x gives me 15x. 5 times 5y gives me 25y. And 5 times, um, six. Five times 6 gives me a negative 30. Oh, I get it. Okay, so now what I've done, just by doing that, by understanding that um, the LCM was 15, now I have the same number in front for my x's, right? So now I can use elimination for this. So since they are the same number and they're the same, um, and actually, you know what? Let me make this easier. I would have to subtract these, right? And I hate subtraction. I hate it. I abhor it. So rather than multiplying by a positive, let's multiply a negative 5, and let's change all the answers. So then negative 5 times 15 would be a negative 15x. Negative 5 times uh, ne positive 5 would be a negative 25, and then this would become a positive 30. I think it's much easier to multiply by negative so that I can add my two equations. So I do this, 15x plus a negative 15x is 0x. 9y plus a negative 25y is a negative, um, negative 16y equals 0. Then. I eliminated my variable because they have the same number, so I have negative 16y equals 0, divide by negative 16, y equals 0. Remember, that's only part of my problem. To figure out the rest of it, I need to plug 0 in for y into my top equation. So I have 5 times x plus 3 times 0 equals negative 10. Remember, it doesn't matter which equation you plug it in for. 3 times 0 is 0, I get 5x equals negative 10, divide by 5, x equals negative 2. And that is your solution of your equation. So just remember, if you don't have the same number in front, try to look to multiply multiples of just one equation. But, if you have to, but it might be possible, you might have to multiply by two different multiples for your equation. So therefore, you have um, to get the same number in front.